Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for September 13th, 14th, and 15th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for my Scorpios. Hello, my Scorpios. How are you? Hope all well. Now, full moon on the 13th, 14th, um, you know, very Pisces moon, very cleansing moon, gentle cleansing, but still it's cleansing. Also, too, there's this, this thing that's been on the internet from September 9th through the 19th, uh, you know, there's this palindrome with the numbers, so there, you know, a lot of strong energy. Some people are even saying that there's this portal type of energy, and right in the middle is that full moon, the 13th, 14th, and it's on Friday the 13th. So, you know, I do have some things posted on my um, Facebook, so you can take a peek at that. Now, weekend reading. I use my Radley Valentine Angel Tarot cards. I have prayed, meditated, and infused the deck with Reiki energy. But remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest, okay? Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Here we go. One, two, and three. First card is reversed. To me, that's a stronger message, but I share so you can... You can make up your mind too. So let's see what we have here. First card, the king of water. Okay, water energy is your energy. It is also Pisces and it is um, ca um, cancer energy. It's emotional energy. It's fluid type of energy. And with this, it, it's the energy here for you right now is, you know, this is, you know, I'm going to kind of use this as an advice card, that this is ruling your emotions. This is not letting your emotions rule you. This is, so, you know, remember the full moon does affect, you know, everybody. It, it affects the water in, you know, on the earth. And where the earth is, what, 70% water, we are 80 to 90% water. All the phases tend to have some sort of an effect on us. So during this time, this is kind of a, you know, this is that you will either have tight control over your emotions during this weekend, or you need to tighten the control over your emotions this weekend. Because this could kind of like, you know, pull you and, you know, and, and you don't, you know, It'll make it, it just, you know, if, if, if you feel yourself becoming extremely emotional, it might be a good time for you to go and take some, you know, do some meditation, kind of take a time out, <laughs> you know, time out and just kind of pull yourself into a better place because this full moon and with, with this is, you know, this 10 day, according to what, you know, I'm reading, it's supposed to be very karma, karmic um, settling. And it's kind of like lessons, if we don't learn them now, you know, or by now, it will restart and we will have to restart, you know, those lessons. So again, this is that time, stay in control, Tight, you, either you will be in control. See, with my Scorpios, sometimes I feel double messages for you, and I've talked about that in the past. Sometimes I feel like there's this one part of my Scorpios that have this, this, this um, you know, strange maturity that it's kind of like, yes, I know I have to go through this. And then there's this other part of my Scorpios that are kind of like, no, no, I'm not going to go through this. I don't want to. And, you know, fighting and kicking. So I feel like there's going to be this, you know, this, um, you know, part that's like, okay, I'm going to keep in control. And this other part that's going to say, you need to stay in control of your emotions. So king of water is trustworthy, compassionate, respected, cultured. Open your heart and mind to those around you. Trustworthy and heartfelt advice, charity work. Next card, life experience. Okay, Archangel energy, um, you know, card. So this is major arcana card. This is about changes in life. This is about, and you, 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 you know, maybe it hasn't been when we started talking about this. Maybe it hasn't been these major changes, but there have been. If it's not been major, there have been small changes that just keep on changing, and again, it continues for you. And again, if we're going to go into this karmic 10-day cycle, it's like, you know, it's like learn the lessons now because if you don't learn the lessons, you're going to be repeating them. And, you know, and, and not, you know, lessons aren't always fun to be living through, okay? So life experience, Archangel Shamil, 
a significant life event, a powerful revelation that leads to change. Time to spread your wings. Now, next card, the eight of air. Air energy is your thought energy. It's your mind energy. It's your Wi-Fi. It's that stuff that you pick up from other people energy. It's also your downloads from that supernatural realm energy too. It's those thoughts that you just kind of like, huh, okay. Now, this is also Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius energy. And this is kind of like, you know, this, well, I'm just going to read it because it, this is truly, it's an illusion of being trapped, a lack of self-confidence, afraid to take action. And I don't necessarily know what it is that's going to be happening this weekend. But again, you know, I, um, you know, but it, it makes you feel, you know, I, I feel like, when I talked about this in the beginning, that it's either that you're going to have that tight control or you are going to need to control your emotions. It's almost like, um, you know, I don't know if things don't turn out the way you wanted them to turn out. I don't know if, um, you know, again, it's this it's this duality that I feel some, a lot of times with my Scorpios. Um, you know, it's this, it's this thing, this, this no, 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 no. Um, in, internally and you know and again you know again uh, I don't know it's your thoughts your mind your mind maybe you're not able to turn your mind off this weekend you know again I say meditate try to calm your mind down because a lot of this energy is maybe you overthinking you overthinking some problems and because you overthink it you you st you know you're not necessarily um aware when it says a powerful revelation that leads to change maybe you're not saying seeing a bigger picture but this is more a case of your you know you your mind playing games with your with you okay that's more a case of that um again maybe whatever this thing is with the mind you know don't re, don't react emotionally okay because, you know, this is, again, this is, for you, I feel this is going to be very strong energy. This is very much learn whatever the lesson is, because if you don't, you'll have to replay that lesson over again. I don't like replaying my lessons. And it's usually hindsight that I say, why didn't I learn this? Because the lesson is like, it's like this. It's not the same lesson. Uh, it's this, they, you know, they want you to still learn the same, whoever, you know, the universe is, wants you to still learn from the lesson, but sometimes it's like, okay, you, we tried to give it this way to you, you didn't learn, so now we're just going to redo the players, and it's going to be, it's going to be the same lesson, but with different players, so, okay, so really think, what is the lesson that the universe has been trying to um, teach you? because this is going to be a really good weekend to resolve it and put it beside and put it behind you once and for all. So, okay, my Scorpios, you always give me some heavy readings, don't you? But my Scorpios, as always, know that you are loved and be blessed. Bye-bye.